somebody just came up to me and said, uh, what are you here for? And I said, the Duffy trial. And he said, oh, that's over, isn't it? No, it's never going to end. The Duffy trial is going to go on for maybe a year in total. Who knows? Um, anyway, after all of the various sessions I've been here for, we've all been here for all the evidence, all the witnesses, 100 witnesses, more than that in exhibits, maybe it's 60 witnesses. Anyway, it's a whole hell of a lot. We have now come down to the short strokes, which uh, are going to be shorter than expected. Uh, these are the lawyers' uh, closing submissions, and where uh, Don Bain was at one point estimating, this is Mike Duffy's lawyer, estimating that he was going to be on his feet for five days, which would have felt like 20. Um, he announced today at the end of the prosecution's closing that he'll be done by tomorrow. It's the end of Tuesday. So there we go. Today was the prosecution's uh, turn with the ball. And uh, I have to say, after months of this kind of circuitous horse manure about confusing Senate rules and poor Mike Duffy, he couldn't possibly understand all the rules. Nobody understood the rules. The rules are Byzantine and chaotic. How could he know what was to be done? Uh, Mark Holmes and Jason Neubauer, the prosecutors, managed to make it very simple. Uh, they each took uh, a section of the 31 charges. These are fraud, breach of trust, and bribery charges. And they each took a sort of section of it and reduced it to a very common sense proposition. And the common sense proposition really is this. Yes, there was a uh, sort of dark forces conspiracy within the Prime Minister, then Prime Minister Stephen Harper's office to make the Senate scandal go away. That was in all their interest to have that done. And they, various people did various things. But none of that matters, say the prosecutors, because that doesn't shelter Mike Duffy from his own uh, allegedly criminal conduct. He's the guy who filed the uh, fraudulent uh, expense claims for 20000 bucks a year for living in his own house in Canada. That was something he chose to do. He filed allegedly for some fraudulent uh, travel claims, some trips that were personal trips. He took the 90000 bucks from Nigel Wright, the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff. And Don Bain undoubtedly tomorrow will say that he was coerced. Poor Mike Duffy, he was robbed of his free will. He had no choice. All these bad people were leaning on him. But we always have a choice, and Mike Duffy had a choice. And the prosecutors say he made the wrong choices.